Yeah, I'd like to be remembered as a racer. In my era, you were much more, the car and driver were much more as one. You know, you, you take, take the car, whatever car it was, and then you'd modify it to the way you wanted to handle. You know, you want more oversteer, more understeer, or steering ratio change, all those things you could do and make it the way you wanted it to be. So in other words, you, you personalize the vehicles. And I mean, just Jack Gravin, for instance, had a Cooper. I would drive a Cooper, but if he drove mine or I drove his, we'd be miles slower although it's the same car, but because uh, it doesn't suit the way you drive. I mean, you get, dry, some drivers, I mean, I was a very late breaker. Some drivers go very wide on the corner, some come very narrow, and it depends on, the, on your style as to which is fastest for you. And braking late is not just putting your foot on, on, the, on the brake a bit later. I mean, it's a lot more than that, because of, when you take a, a, a normal car, when it's stationary, it's dead stable. When you start moving, it gets more difficult. When you start braking, the car, the car has reactions which you, which you have to compensate. Therefore, getting a car right uh, under braking is quite difficult. I mean, normally, uh, with a rear engine car, I would say I'd probably have 65, 70% brakes on the front. What you're trying to do is you take a car and you, you sort of throw it into a corner uh, far faster than it normally would be expected to go and then you have to sort the thing out and so therefore setting the car up to, the, to your style of driving is a very important thing to do and uh, I knew sufficient technically to set up the car the way I'd want it. I mean if you look, let two pounds out of my tyres front or rear I would certainly know that you'd be messing around with it. When, when a problem crops up, you, you've got to find some way around it. I mean, it depends what the problem is. Sometimes you can sort it out in practice and get that and get that problem um, done away with, so it just doesn't represent itself. Sometimes you're racing, uh, you know, you have to be aware of what it is and what you can do to get over the problem. That's the point. Of the, it's, uh, I mean, when you're, when you're racing, you're not on your own. You've got other people around you who are trying to beat you. And therefore, it's quite important to understand what track craft is, when you're going to try and pass somebody, um, and how you're going to do it, and slipstreaming, and the use of the car in front to get more speed, when you should use it and when you shouldn't. It's, 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 quite, it's quite a complex arrangement. The Lotus, the Lotus, I think, was a faster car than the Cooper, but certainly not as nice to drive. The Cooper was a very agricultural by comparison, um, but a much more forgiving car. And really, if, you, if you're racing hard, to have a car like that is much more, much more um, pleasing to drive than, than, than another one. I mean, a Lotus is actually a, a better car if you're fast enough to drive it, but the downside is that it was three and three quarter hours, and that's a long time uh, with them, and uh, I mean, I would also, of course, try and make them think it's easier for me than it was for them. I mean, I'd see them around the hairpin, and every time I'd sort of wave across, you know, like I'm enjoying this, and yet I was absolutely flat out, and every time I'd go, I'd say, let, let try and do a perfect lap, which of course you can't do. And you'd come out, and, and I had maybe six inches to spare on the outside, which I should have used up, saying, right, I'm going to try and do the perfect lap from here, and kept doing that because 100 laps, um, you know, it takes tremendous concentration. If you can concentrate, anybody can tr concentrate for three hours on one, one thing, it's, it's very difficult to do. It's made easier because my life was at stake, so therefore, that, because I had an input into it, that made it more important. Yeah, I'd like to be remembered as a racer because uh, racing and, and being a racer are two different things. I mean, if you're a real racer and there's a gap, you go in there, you, don't, you, you suddenly think, well, what am I doing here? because it's in built into you that you that you are you are fighting somebody and, and so you take you take every benefit that you can.